some things you can just pray and it go. But there are some things you take faster than prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, 
thanks. That could be found in his presence another time. Praise the name of Jesus. We just want to give God all the glory. Same way, continue to just praise him because he's worthy of all the praise. Bless the Lord. Let us give honor to the Spirit of God Amen. with our pastor, officers, visiting friends, brethren, greetings in Jesus' name. So good to be in God's house one more time. Amen. There's a song that said, Everywhere I am, I praise Him. Whenever I can, I praise Him because His love surrounds me like a sea. Thank God for that love. Thank God for that mercy. Thank God that is no good that I have done, but because of his loving kindness. There's a verse in the scriptures that a question was asked. Who shall ascend in the east of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his own place? He said, he that have a clean hand and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, and our soul deceitfully. And that's the type that will receive the blessing. I know the Psalms was written by David. And when it read this morning, my mind go back onto a particular issue with David. David did have this intention, good intention, to build a house for the Lord. He had this good intention to build a house for the Lord. But God said, you shall not build my house because your hand is full of blood. But I will, use, I will give you a son and that son shall build the house. You know, sometimes you want to have a good intention to do something. But because you didn't get the opportunity to do it, sometimes you can't get upset and feel away. But David wasn't like that. Even though he wasn't allowed to build the house, he prepared and provide everything to build the house. And he prepared and provide quality things. He said... Gold for the kingdom of gold. Yes. Silver for the kingdom of silver. Yes, Brands for the things of brands. If you go to 1 Chronicles chapter 29, it's in 1 Chronicles 28 that he said he wanted to build it. Yes. But in 1 Chronicles chapter 29, that he gathered them. And he exalted God in no uncertain manner. 1 Chronicles 29, I think it's verse 10. From verse 10. And we were exalting God this morning and praising and honoring God. Yeah. And even though David didn't get to build the house, yeah. he honored God in no uncertain manner. Yeah. You know, he said, therefore David blessed the congregation. After I have told him that God don't want me to build the house, yeah. but he want my son. So he gathered the congregation. And therefore David blessed the Lord before all the congregation. And David said, blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, our father. Forever and forever. He didn't go one away and bless the Lord, you know. He walked publicly. Bless it in the congregation. Because when he look around and he could see what God has done for us. The song said, when I look around and see what the Lord has done for me. He made me want to go all the way. So David, look and see what God has done. And even though you don't give me the opportunity to build your house, Lord, I'm going to bless you. He said, thine, O oh Lord. Is the greatest and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty the all for all that in the heaven and in the earth is thine thine is the kingdom O lord and thou art exalted at head above all everything belongs to god power regardless of where it comes from it belongs to god victory belongs to god nobody can give you victory unless it's god it's about riches and honor come from thee and thou reignest over all. And in thine hand is power and might. And in thine hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. Any form of riches, fortune that anyone have on this earth, it come from God. It's God give them that opportunity. And say, now therefore, our God, we thank thee and praise thy gracious name. He exalted God in such a manner 
that he said there is no other earth, no other name on the earth heaven where man can be saved. Yeah. He's the greatest. He's the sovereign. You know, they refer to the king as an imperial majesty. Yes. That because, you know, the king of England, his territory is like Wales, Scotland, Ireland. You see, he's an imperial, so he a limited place. But God is divine majesty. The whole entire world, is his, it belongs to him. Everybody bow down to him. The king of England, we say we are his subject. But even the king is a subject to God. Because all power belongs to God. He's the kings of kings. And he's the lords of lords. But David was so humble. Remember, he was now a king of Israel. And all the people were holy people and chosen people. But David, before God, it was like when he said, the Lord is my shepherd. When he now become a sheep. And God is his shepherd. Now he said, but who am I? And what is my people? No, Israel was a chosen nation. We are peculiar people to God. And, and David, he was the king. But he come down so low and humble, he said, but who am I? And what is my people that we should be able to offer willingly after this sort? For all things come from thee. And of thy own have we given thee. Because even though they're offering to God, we are, whatever they're offering, it comes from God. I'm here not telling God thanks, but the voice I'm using to say, thank you, Lord, it come from God. The breath that I breathe, it come from God. So it's just a privilege that I have now to say, thank you, God. I said, thank you for the life that come from you. For we are strangers before thee and sojourners. And we are our fathers. Our days on this earth are as a shadow, and there is none abiding. We are sojourners. We don't belong to this earth. You see, the angels, they are, they are at home in heaven. But we are just passed by on earth. Earth is not our home. So we are just a so, sojourners. Yeah? Go back to that verse for me. Yeah? There's something at the end of that verse. It says, For we are strangers before thee and sojourners, as were all our fathers. And our days and the earth are as a shadow, and there is none abiding. There is none abiding. We must not have no great expectation on earth. We must not have nothing. I expect that we will have a continuous life forever and forever. No, we are not abiding here. We are just sojourners here. And I pray that God will just help us, next verse, that we understand that the question we ask, who shall abide in his tabernacle and who shall dwell in his holy place. He said, oh Lord, our God, all this store that we have prepared to build thee and house for thine holy name, come it after thy hand and it is all thine. To God be the glory. Great things we have done. His honor and glory began, belongs to God. Majesty belongs to God. There is nothing that we have can offer God. And I pray just with the uprightness of our heart that we will offer two praises unto God. You pray for me in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Once I Praise was God. lost in sin, I had no hope within. But Jesus took me in with all my load of sin. He bore them all for me and gave me victory. And now I'm sin.
us. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. God, thanks that we can be in his house another time. And his testimony service is now open. You have an opportunity to give God thanks. There is no singing or exaltation in Jesus' name. Who will be the first in Jesus' name? Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So I go home. 
a few months, a few weeks to live. But I'm giving God thanks that I could come, I could wave my hands, I could tell God that I'm grateful. As our brother just said, God gives us this breath that we can give back to God and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your breath. Thank you for providing. Thank you for making a way. There's so much to give God thanks for. And I'll hand back to Brother Dwayne in Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Give God thanks for all the testimonies. I know there's only a few of the little children here. We're going to call them to come and sing a song. In Jesus' name, praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. Pray for them while they come, the rising star, in Jesus' name. Praise God. Talking about my God can do anything, do anything. My God, talking about my God can do anything, do anything. He's got the power. He's got the power.
our thanks to the rising stars. Pray that God will just keep them as they grow. Praise the name of Jesus, saying that God can do anything. Praise God and that he's got the power. And he is the power. Praise the name of Jesus as they sing. Pray that they'll get the understanding that Jesus Christ is Lord. Praise the name of Jesus and that they'll realize that he is a risen savior. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. We just want to give God thanks continually, saints. Praise the name of Jesus. We don't want to see that we're starting again. Praise the name of Jesus. We want to be a continuous. Praise God, because God is worthy to be praised. Praise the name of Jesus. So we're just grateful every time we come to the house of God. Praise the name of Jesus, that we can just give him thanks. And we can glorify his holy name. Praise God, because we know that he's worthy of all the praise. Praise the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. You see, brethren, every time I stand there, so much things come to your mind that time. Praise God, but I'm just praying in my heart that God would just have his way. Amen. Praise God, because I don't want to seem like it's just a custom. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. We want to know that the Lord God would have his way. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. And that the spirit of the Lord God would just move mightily in this place. Praise God, because I know that we want a touch from Jesus. Amen. Praise God, because we know that the touch makes a difference. Amen. When a feel his spirit moving with inside. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Because as the word says, the spirit that quicken it, the flesh profit nothing. Praise God. So we know that we have the spirit of God moving inside of us. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Praise him. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Bless the name of Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Sometimes I don't even know what to say. All I, I see is coming out that he's worthy to be praised. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen, amen. We thank God. That our God can do everything. Praise the name of Jesus. The privilege that we have to be here tonight. Praise the name of Jesus. I just want the Lord God to have his way. Praise God. I don't know if you feel tired, saints. But no matter if we feel tired, we still have to give him thanks. I don't know if we eat too much food, but we still have to give him thanks. Praise the name of Jesus. He said, in all things, we must give God thanks. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, earlier on, me and Brother Michael and Brother Sebastian, we were talking and we were saying that that is a good thing to give God thanks. And I was saying, and Sister Ker Kerian was there as well, we were saying that, you know, the Bible said in all things, we must give thanks. And Brother Michael said, that's the hard bit. And I said that you're right. You know why I said you're right? I said, when we don't understand, it's very hard. The Bible said that wisdom is a principal thing. But we don't like getting, get understanding. So now when we go through our trials and tribulations, right, and we realize that God is there with us, and when we have overcome, we realize that he gave us the power to overcome, we are able to give him thanks. So now when we end up in problems again, before we start to worry, now we can start to realize that God is with us. So we can start to give him thanks. Praise God. Many times a feeling want to come upon you like you want to do your own thing. But the Spirit of the Lord God will speak to you, give you a word. Yes. Praise God. And many times you just say, bow down on your knees and pray. Praise, Praise God. God. And we realize that God is with us. Every, every step of the way, Amen. God is with us. Sometimes we don't realize because our own self gets in the way. And when we are standing in the way of ourselves, we don't realize that God is there. That God is not going to contend with you and our, nor me. Praise God, but we thank God that he's always there. Praise the name of Jesus, and we give him thanks. Praise God, ain't nothing going to hold us down from giving God praise tonight, saints. Praise the name of Jesus. Ain't nothing going to hold us down. Because we're not guaranteed the next day. Praise God, so while we're here today, praise the name of Jesus. Sister Kelly, can you stand and testify in Jesus' name? Praise God, stand and testify in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Him. Praise Him. 
Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. That spirit. When that spirit possesses one body. Yes. You can't see. Not at all. You can't hear. No. Amen. You can't see. No. All I know is whatever it needs you to do and it's nothing good. That's right. If it's a kill, you want to kill somebody. Yes. If it's a you want to see them blood, when you want to see them blood, Lord. In the name of Jesus. But I'm giving up some that he is a deliverer. Yes, Amen. he is. Because I had an hunger. My God. And sometimes your, your upbringing makes you become so angry. Mm -hmm. When you feel like, why was I born into this world? When you feel like your mother don't want you, your father don't want you, your family don't want you, you don't even want your own self. And you begin to get this anger inside of you. Yes. And when you behave in a way, sometimes even, even I was ashamed. And I can tell you, Virgin, when that anger takes me sometimes, mm. and it's after when I be a man, don't be a bad. Amen. Then the condemnation comes in. Amen. So you think, why do I have to be like that? Amen. Why can't I be a decent young woman? A decent will come to my yes. mind. Why can't I be a decent young woman? Why can't I be like this or that one? Mm. Virgin, my mother's a quiet person. She don't like to talk. I never used to fight before, I never used to fight before, I never, used before. Yes. I never used nobody tells me to tell me that. No, my father. I don't know where I get that from. But like I said, maybe because of the upbringing and it's like everybody was pouring anger into you, anger into you, anger into you. And you develop this hatred in your heart. Yes. And you don't, you don't love nobody, you don't want to be around nobody, you just want to just, just fight and be a bad all the time. But I'm thanking God that one day. One day when I was behaving really bad, was on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. I remember this morning, Brother Dewey. Yes. But because I don't have the time this morning, I said, we'll testify tonight. Praise what God. What's the time tonight either? And God said to testify. Man. One Sunday, one Sunday when I done somebody here, a few months back, I, did, I was trying to go to be a hairdresser. Mm -hmm. Went to middle school, and even go to middle school, they have their rules. The square must be there, they don't your knee, and you have your jacket, you're just decent. My score the up here, sir. No matter what they tell me, say, Keisha, put a lot on the skirt. I say, yes. Put a say, yes. You just have a up on the skirt. Brother Clifton can tell you because somebody who, who I went to school with know him. I should tell Brother Clifton how I used to be. Come a up on the skirt. The skirts are sharp. And they he here. Yes. And I remember one Sunday, I done this girl here months ago. I'm supposed to pay me the money. <laughs> Keep her out, her feet. As I seen, I give her three charms. And I said, if you are doing strike one, A, B, one. I said to you, two. And while you have here one, and I said, three, strike out and down. You can't chat to me again. My man is here. My cut you off, and you're dead to me. I will see you coming, and if you fall down, me watch you hurt yourself, and then walk past you. Anger. And I remember the Sunday morning I was over there, the, the bath, washing the baby clothes to that end of the time. And the devil jumped me. I said, Kelly, you know what the money from the person? And I said, what the money is? And then the person said, what have your money? Yes. But you know what I'm telling you? Know? No, I didn't. And you know what I stopped you to give me an answer? Yes. And I fly from over the clothes, you see? And I grab the lead from my side, I do the lead from my side as so. well. And when I go down in the lead, when it's done, I say, and when I call her, I pick up Virgin, I'm glad for the change. Praise God. Because, because you know, when you know when I'm a sinner, I don't come to your nice and say so and so and so. But we have to see you in a crowd. Mm -hmm. I mean, I see from where I got so. And we have all out in here. Let me know God in a church. I mean, let me know what God in the Lord in sin. Yes. Where are the sin of God? What's God to see a time? I tell for my voice for Satan. When I come to church, I'm not going to be speaking, not speaking, speaking. Yes. That was about Lord for Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. And when I call her out her yard, I put go inside nicely you know, enough. They call the young lady outside. And once you're on the Sunday morning, mm. back in the day, you're just a quiet past Sunday. Yes. Certain time, quiet. You're cleaning the house, you cook your food, lock with your 
Sister Kelly and that testimony. Can we bless the Lord, everybody? Can we bless the Lord, everybody? Truly, it is a good thing to be free from sin and of Christ with you. Amen? God is a good God. Amen? God is a good God. Amen? Hallelujah. Why should I feel? Is going and why Amen. should the shadows come Lord. and why should my heart be lost? For heaven and oh, when Jesus is my portion, I constant friend is he. 
off the calendar a long time ago but God is still keeping me amen so to the young people that are here tonight hold on to Jesus I know the world may look like it's enticing but all that's there is the loss of the flesh the loss of the eyes and the pride of life there's nothing out there in the world Jesus is all that we need amen Jesus is all that we need. Amen. He makes the difference. Yes, he does. God makes a difference. Amen. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice.
praise, praise God. Thank God for such wonderful songs. Praise the name of Jesus, like the general choir to get ready to render a song to the church. Praise God, we thank God for this blessed assurance. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Say, I sing because I'm happy. Sing because I'm free. Say, his eyes is on the sparrow. And we know that he watches over us. Praise the name of Jesus. Say, sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet heavenly dove. Praise the name of Jesus. Give God thanks for such wonderful encouragement through these songs. Praise God. Now the general choir to come right now, please, in Jesus' name. We thank God that he's been speaking to us to let us know. Praise God. And he's still on the throne. Praise the name of Jesus. He said, without a doubt, we know that when we leave this place, shall be revived. Praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank God for his mercies towards us. Name of Jesus.
trust in God. Praise the name of Jesus. Say, ring on and on. God will answer our prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. Give God thanks to the choir and such a wonderful song. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank God that it's letting us know that we are to continue to look to him. In all that we need, we have to continue to look to God. Praise the name of Jesus. And they said that prayer is the key. Praise the name of Jesus. That's the key that we have to get to God. We can pray. Praise God. Because when we're praying, truly praying, we're not just having saying words. We're talking to the Almighty God. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank God for this song. Praise the name of Jesus. And don't matter the troubles. Don't matter the burden. Praise God. Say, continue to pray and trust God. Say, ring on and on. That God will answer. Praise the name of Jesus. So no matter if doubt did arise, he said, ring on and on. Mean continue. Amen. Praise God. Don't give up. Continue to pray. Continue to trust God. Praise the name of Jesus. They say, God will answer our prayers. Praise God. We're so grateful unto the Almighty God. Praise God for such a wonderful song. Reggie, we're getting some encouragement tonight. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. They see throughout the testimony, there's a lot of talking about anger. Praise God. And God is letting us know that his blood makes the difference. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. See, <laughs> anger is a terrible thing. And I got many testimonies about anger. Praise God. You know what? I give God thanks for the blood. Amen. Praise God. I used to, my temper was so bad. Thank God for the change. Amen. You see, I used to, my <laughs> mom used to call me sharp few cylinder, you know? That means it didn't take much for me to get upset. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And you see, when I used to get upset, Regin, like, I start to tremble. Well, I'm not trembling because I'm scared. No. I tremble because I reach to a, a level of anger that is like, this body can't even contain. Amen. You understand? And, and I never used to like when I get so angry and I start to cry. The reason why I cry is because I can't get to do what I want to do. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. But I give God thanks for his change, brethren. I'm not going to tell you since I've been saved that I never get upset. Yeah, I get upset. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm not going to lie, I get upset. But I thank God that he allowed me to pray and be honest unto him. And say, God, take that, Lord. Don't let it be in me. Because many times we feel like we overcome some situations. But there comes a time when it arrives. And sometimes we react in a way that we wouldn't even know that we were reacting that way. And now we have to go back down on our knees and ask God to take that from us. Praise the name of Jesus. I remember one time, Reg and I went into this shop. They went in a chicken and chip shop with my, my daughter and one of my child and her cousin. So I went in the shop. It wouldn't look like we'd come together. So I was just standing in the shop. They order what they order. Now, Reg so they buy what they buy and they get their change. But I see they just want to put the money in their pocket. So I said that you need to check your money to make sure that you get back your right change. Now the man in the shop never liked that I said that to them, but he never know that I'm with them. Reggie, and I tell you, the man started to get upset, Reggie. The man wanted to, the man was getting so angry, like, like, like he wanted to jump over the counter and come and do me something. Reggie. And I stand there and I just laugh. And he said, I'm going to call the police. I said, call them. The number is 999. <laughs> and you know, Bridget and my daughter look at me and said, Dad, I know if it was before, he wouldn't even get away with that. And I thank God. Because many times we get on some situation, Bridget, and you feel like that part where you said that part was buried. Yeah. Want to rise up again. Yeah. And you have to put that bit under the blood. You know, but I thank God that this situation happens so many times. And many times right now, Bridget, I just laugh. Amen. And sometimes they say, well, I'm really laughing at that, though. But I have to say, give God thanks. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So if you're here tonight and you're still struggling with that, God let you know that he would answer your prayer. Amen. It's not going to be like that always. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Because we don't get over these things overnight. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Some things, they just go just like that. Well, you have some things, brethren, like they just embedded within us so much, right? 
And some things you can just pray and it go. But there are some things you take faster than prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. Because I think it was a boy that he had the legions of devils. Praise God. And the disciples, they were praying. And nothing happened. And Jesus came. And he rebuked the demons. And the demons went. Now they wanted to know why. Why they could not do it. And he said that this kind. This kind. You have to go through fasting and prayer. Praise the name of Jesus. There are certain things, brethren, we have to go deeper and deeper and deeper. Praise the name of Jesus. It's not that God cannot get rid of it. He will say, God, take this from me. But we need to understand that we have, there are times where we need to get deeper and deeper in God. Praise the name of Jesus. And God is still telling us tonight that he can take it. And then he's letting us know that no matter the burdens, no matter the worries, Praise the name of Jesus. Just keep on praying. Just keep on trusting God. And he shall deliver because he is a deliverer. In Jesus' name. At this moment, we're just going to collect our evenings offering. In Jesus' name, while we sing a lively song. Daniel's God surely will deliver. Daniel's God surely will deliver. If you only
Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Surely we'll deliver. Surely we'll deliver. Thank you, Jesus. If we only look to Him by faith. Jesus surely will deliver so if we only look to him by faith surely 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 without a doubt he will deliver praise the name of Jesus it's not only Daniel's God is our God also praise the name of Jesus surely will deliver Praise the name of Jesus. Give God thanks to that songwriter. Know what Daniel went through and God delivered him. To show us many times that we're going to go through some situation. And God is going to deliver. We're going to go through the fire. Some through the flood. Praise the name of Jesus. See, brethren, we're hearing the message coming again. Pray say, ring on and on. Because God will answer the prayer. And now we're hearing Daniel God. Not might. Not maybe. Not a wonder if. But surely. Will deliver. Praise the name of Jesus. I thank God. God has many ways. Of speaking to his people. He said if we only look to him. By faith. He will surely. Deliver. Praise the name of Jesus. We thank God. That he's still assuring us. That he is the mighty God. Praise the name of Jesus. Earlier on the rising star. Sang the song. He said, my God can do anything. Amen. He said, he's got the power. Yes, he's the power. And he is the power. Amen. He said, my God can do anything. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. And our sister came and sang, why should I feel this courage? Yes. And after telling us that, he said that God's eyes on a sparrow. And he watches over all of us. Praise the name of Jesus. But I love before they say, I say, I sing. Because I'm happy. He say, I sing. Because I'm free. Praise the name of Jesus. So the apostle say, that person. Praise God. So we know when we go through. And God has delivered us. We can sing. With a reality. Praise the name of Jesus. Come again to say, Daniel, God, surely will deliver. We saw that Daniel did not turn from God. He did not bow. They, want, they didn't want him to pray. He wasn't fighting against them. He was praying unto his father. They didn't want him to pray. Praise the name of Jesus. But he opened his window and he made sure he prayed. Praise the name of Jesus. And when they had enough of him, they put him in the lion's den. For him to be devoured. Praise the name of Jesus. For prayer. Because if we know when the lions go to feed, they devour. Sometimes they even bite one another because they are so hungry. You understand? So in that moment of time of feeding, they are very vicious. And they want to rip everything apart. Praise the name of Jesus. And they put him right in there. Praise the name of Jesus. And God delivered him. Because God shut the mouth of the lions. Praise the name of Jesus. 
And so many times we're going to end up in those situations like we're in the lion's den. And the same almighty God that delivered Daniel Amen. is going to deliver us out of Amen. that lion's den. Amen. Sometimes we're going to go through the fiery furnace and it's going to get hotter and hotter like the, the three Hebrew boys. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. But we thank God that they said, even if, you know, many times when, when you read the scripture and they said that even if our God don't deliver us, they're still not going to bow. So when you, when you think about it, they, they have, they had such a, a, a connection. With God. Amen. To even if they, there may be a chance yes. that God can fail, which you know that God never fails. Yes. That's right. But said, yet still, they're still not going to bow. Amen. Amen. And while they were in the fiery furnace, and as I said that, the fire was turned up even hotter seven times. Meaning that the trials and the tribulation is going to come one after the other. Praise the name of Jesus. And while they were there in the fiery furnace, praise God, the scripture said, if it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. They say, but if not, be it known unto thee, O king, That's right. that we will not serve thy gods, Amen. nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Right. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed right. against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wanted to be heated right. praise the name of Jesus and he commanded the most mighty man that were in his army to bind Shadrach Meshach and Abednego and to cut you see he didn't call the weak ones he said he commanded the most mighty ones he want to make sure that when they get the binding up there is not a chance that they can escape. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Right. Then these men were bound in their, in their coats. Mm -hmm. He said their hosen and their hats mm -hmm. and other garments. Yeah. And were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore... Because the king's commandment was urgent and the, fur and the furnace exceeding hot, it said the flame of the fire slew those men that took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He was such in such a anger, same anger we was talking about earlier on, showing you again. He was so angry. He had no patience. He wanted them to die. He wanted them to die. Why? Because they wouldn't serve and worship this, this image that he, image of himself. That he, that he rise up, praise the name of Jesus, and wanted them to worship. Praise the name of Jesus. And even though, even though they did not, they told him, I will not worship you. But one thing, brethren, I always look into when I read the scripture. They said, O oh, king. They still had manners and respect yes. unto who wanted to kill them. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. And he said, and these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was a stone and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselor, did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire. Amen. They answered and said unto the king, true, O king. He answered and said, lo, 
I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no hurts. And the form of the fort is like the Son of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Now how would he know that the fort was in the form of the Son of God? Because God revealed it unto him who is the true king. Hence why he was able to identify specifically. You see, he said in the form of the Son of God. Praise the name of Jesus. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt and the form of the fort is like the son of God praise the name of Jesus then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fire furnace and spake and said Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego he said he's servants of the most high God say come forth and come hither then Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego came forth out of the midst of the fire. And the princes, the governors, and the captains, and the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw these men upon the bodies where the fire had no power, nor was a hair of their hair shinge, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him. And have changed the king's word and healed their body that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own. Daniel God, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego surely will deliver. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. He's a strong deliverer. Now he said, therefore I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made a dunghill because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Saints, we give God thanks. We see that God is a deliverer. Praise the name of Jesus. The same king who wanted to kill the three Hebrew boys. Now he has to turn around. And you see, now he's defending who he wanted to kill. You see, when God deliver, not only when God deliver. You see, when we're walking in the righteousness of God, nothing can happen to us. No evil, none. Nothing at all. That's why in Psalms 91 it said that he that dwelleth in the secret place, in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He said, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. What assurance! My God, your God, our God, in him will I trust. Surely, not maybe, not a wonder if, but he said, but surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the nose and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Praise God. It says, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, 
nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. You see, because evil comes in darkness. But our Father is the Father of light. Praise the name of Jesus. Nor the destruction that wasted at noonday. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. said, for a thousand shall fall at thy side. And ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Praise the name of Jesus. He said, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord God, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Meaning that we trust in God. Meaning that we put all our faith in God. Meaning that we depend on God. Meaning that we humble ourselves and we reverence God. God, praise the name of Jesus. He said, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwellings. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in thy ways, in all thy ways. Praise the name of Jesus. He said, they shall bear thee up in their hands. Lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. <laughs> you see, two dangerous snake and a lion. Praise the name of Jesus. The lion will come. The lion will wait. One thing with the lion, he has patience. He has patience. So he would wait for that perfect time to devour you. The snake is very cunning. Praise the name of Jesus. And there are some snakes they can camouflage to their surroundings. And they wait for that time where they can just come and set to sting. Praise the name of Jesus. He said the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample on the feet. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he had known my name. Praise the name of Jesus. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Praise the name of Jesus. He said, with long life, will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Praise the name of Jesus. We see that he's a strong strong deliverer praise the name of Jesus praise the name of Jesus you see brethren day by day we learn day by day we learn and we thank God that God has a way of teaching his people how to serve him and as we see brethren with Daniel, with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego now we see in Psalms 91 showing that God is a mighty God. And you see when we dwell. In the shadow of the almighty. Praise the name of Jesus. No devil in hell can harm us. Praise the name of Jesus. Once we trust God. Praise God. Once we trust him. And continue to look to God. Praise God. We thank him that he's a strong deliverer tonight. Praise the name of Jesus. We thank him that he's always there. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. And he's showing us that he's giving us the power yes. over yes. evil. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes. Every evil that rises up against us. God is showing us that he is mighty. Yes. And he will protect even while we're asleep. Because yes. many times that's a time yes. when the devil wants to send his angels to come and attack you. Yes. All in your sleep. But while we sleep, God never sleep. Because he said he never sleep. No slumber. Praise the name of Jesus. So that's why when we pray and we go to our bed and we ask the Lord God to cover us. While we go to sleep. Because that's a time when they like to come. 
But God is showing us that I am with you. Praise the name of Jesus. Many of us can, can talk and say we've experienced when you've been held down in your sleep. You're held down in your sleep and you're trying to speak. And you cannot speak. But inside cries out Jesus. And once the name of Jesus is called, then demons has to flee. Praise the name of Jesus. So you see that God is a deliverer. And God is keeping us. That's why the song says, it's the Holy Ghost and power. That is keeping me alive. Praise the name of Jesus. That's why another songwriter say, he said, the Holy Ghost power is right anyhow. Praise the name of Jesus. So you see, we have to continue to look to God. You see, when Stanley taught us in, in Bible class, he said, the devil was once in heaven. He knows the splendor. He knows the glory. He knows the wonderful works of God. And Brother Stanley said, his job is to make sure that we don't get there. Which is all right. But all power and authority belong to God. He said that he's supreme in power and authority. Praise the name of Jesus. But we don't belong to the devil. Praise the name of Jesus. So no matter how the devil tried to fight and tried to keep us down. We must rise, saints. We must rise. Once we trust in Jesus. Trust in Jesus. And be obedient, saints. Be obedient. Also, for myself. You see, because the word of God says, obedience is better than sacrifice. We don't want to know that we are offering and we say we want to bring the best unto God. For God to help us, for God to provide for us, for God to deliver. But we can't be simply obedient. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. You see, Jesus came as a perfect example. He came as a perfect example. He said he come to do the work of his father. Praise the name of Jesus. And why Jesus show us that obediency and show how down to the end, God was with him. You see, because even when he cried out, when it seemed like God has forsaken him, but we know that he was not forsaken. And we may reach that stage sometime. But God won't leave us. And he won't forsake us. So we thank God that Jesus was the perfect example for us. And today, saints, why we, are, why we have the breath of life flowing through us is our duty to be obedient unto the Most High God. And to realize that all that we need is in him. You see, he said there are higher heights. And there are deeper depths. In him. Praise the name of Jesus. So this what we see right here, brethren. This I will call is just the surface of it. You see, as our pastor will say many times. And we hear Mother Lake say many times, there's a lot of work to be done. Yes. Sometimes we don't really understand when we hear these words Amen. because we don't reach there yet. Amen. They have experience. Amen. They have been through it and still going through it. Amen. It's why they can teach us this. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. That there are many works to be done. Praise God, and I'm praying that God will help us all. Help us all that God will be glorified. Praise the name of Jesus, that he will be glorified. Praise God, because we see the God whom, whom we serve, that is our mighty God. And he loves and he cares for us. And I thank God that he's letting us know that surely, surely, he will deliver. 
Praise the name of Jesus. And we are so grateful unto him. Praise the name of Jesus. We give him thanks and praise. Bless the name of Jesus because he is good. Praise the name of Jesus. We thank him that there's none like him. Praise the name of Jesus. We thank him for his love. We thank him. Such wondrous love. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank God that there's none like him. And there would never be none like him. He's the perfect example. And God is perfect. Praise God. And we are grateful unto him, saints. Praise the name of Jesus. We are grateful unto him, saints. Praise the name of Jesus. So no matter what you are going through, and no matter what's ahead, just remember that surely, surely, God will deliver. Praise the name of Jesus. If doubt ever want to arise, just remember that surely, God will deliver. Praise the name of Jesus. No matter what you may be going through, and no matter what you may face, have faith, yes, and know that God will surely deliver. I don't believe that these words will be coming just for the benches. So God knows what's happening now, and God sees ahead. So he's giving us the assurance from now that he will deliver. He won't fail. Because our mind have a time to tell us that, boy, things now going to work out. Sometimes the situation get really bad. Sometimes we cry and we pray. And we want to answer today. We want the answer the next day. Sometimes one week pass and we don't get the answer. We start to wonder if God is really with us. Sometimes one month pass and we don't get the answer that, guess what? We're, we're looking for the answer. But God is the answer. Praise the name of Jesus. And when we least expect it, that is the time when he turns up and he delivers. Because no matter if it seems like God is taking too long for us, God is always on time. So God will surely, surely will deliver. Praise the name of Jesus. We just want to give God thanks, saints. We just want to thank him because he's worthy to be praised. We just want to thank him because he's the mighty God. We just want to thank him because God has been so great to us. Praise God. All to him we owe. Praise God. Thank God that he paid it all. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. We're grateful in Jesus' name. Praise God. I don't have this moment that our pastor. Praise God. Will the church please stand? Please, in Jesus' name. If our pastor come to the church, the Lord God would have to speak to us in Jesus' name or greet the church. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Give God thanks for our pastor. Praise God. Amen. God will surely deliver. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes. Know that he will surely yes. deliver. Because he delivered us. Yes. So we can testify that he's a deliverer. Yes. Praise God. We hear our brother Adrian's testimony of what he went through. Yes. And God delivered him. Yes. We heard Sister Kelly's testimony yes. that God has delivered we heard Brother Gilbert testify that God is a deliverer. Yes. We heard Evangelist Douglas testify how God has delivered. Yes. And all of us in here has a testimony yes. to prove that God is a deliverer. Yes. And we thank God. Yes. We praise the name of Jesus. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. We just continue to look to him yes. by faith. Because yes. God surely deliver. will deliver. Keep trusting God, saints. Amen. Though the backer may be hot. And the conflict so. 
Though many times the road get rocky. We can't give up, we have to still chat along. So we have to hold on. A little longer. But while we're holding on a little longer, we have to take Jesus at his word. And he will carry us through. Right through to the promised land. You see, because he said, I have gone to prepare a place. Say, so in my father's house, there are many mansions. And he said, if it was not so, I would have told you. But I said, I go to prepare a place for you. Praise the name of Jesus. I said, and if I go and prepare a place, he said that and he will return and receive you and I unto himself. That where he is, there we may be also. So we thank God that our coming won't be in vain. Praise the name of Jesus. We are working for everlasting life. And we know that the fight is on. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Earlier on I said to, to Sister Kerry when we was talking, I said, you know it's a fight. I said, you know Paul said I have fought a good fight. <laughs> a good fight. <laughs> you see, and as the scripture said, we have to contend for the faith. Amen. Praise God. But I said to them, I said the battle that we're fighting is not for us. He said the battle is for the Lord. So, <laughs> praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> so he said, we have to, if, he said, if we hold our peace. <laughs> praise the name of Jesus. <laughs> he said, we have to hold our peace. <laughs> and let the Lord fight the battle. Then we will get the victory. Praise the name of Jesus. Saints, we give God thanks. We give him thanks, saints. Praise the name of Jesus. We give him thanks because he's worthy. We know that he's a deliverer. It may seem like I'm saying it over and over. But it's the reality. True. As you said, Pastor Reggie, I know what I'm talking about. I know that God is a deliverer. Reginald were nice when I cried and I asked God, I said, God, where are you? Sometimes pain and situation hit your brethren. Sometimes you don't even think about that you want to kneel down and pray. Sometimes where you stand, you just have to say, God. God. God, I need you. And when you realize that you can't do it of your own, you say, God, I cannot do this on my own. Brethren. Oh, God. I don't know if you just heard that. As our pastor says, sometimes all you can do is just grow. You just sit there, or you just stand there, you just lie. Mm. Mm. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Down to the very groan that the spirit groan it. The almighty God understands. And he deliver. And we thank God that he does only just deliver and stop there. After he deliver, he comforts. And after he comforts, he still comforts once again. Many times you are there, brethren. And you, sometimes you feel, you see, many times it's the emotions of ourselves that play upon us. Sometimes we feel so down and out. And sometimes, yes, the situations do come, but make us feel down. 
But you ever know when the arms of God just hold you. Just give you that hug that you need. And you feel so different within. So we have so much to give God thanks for. Praise the name of Jesus. We have so much to give him thanks for. Sometimes you want to find the words to say thank you. And all the wonderful words in the Oxford Encyclopedia, as they call it, you find all these wonderful words just to, to express how you feel. And deep within inside, you know that they still don't even match up to how you really, how you really, really feel and how you really want to say thanks. But thank God that he can just allow us to say, thank you, Jesus. We thank you for all the things he's done for us. And we're thanking him from now for all the things that he's about to do for us. We thank him. We thank him that there's none like him. None like him. Praise the name of Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Praise God from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. He is worthy. We thank God. Praise the name of Jesus. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> but just to give him thanks. <laughs> And I thank God from this morning up until now that he's letting us know that he's with us yeah. and that he take care of us yeah. and that he loves us yeah. and come tonight to let us know that he is a deliverer. Yes, he is. Thank you. <laughs> I'm grateful, saints. While we have the breath of life flowing in this, in this mortal body. Let us give God thanks. Let us always remember to be grateful unto the Almighty God. Always. Always. Just, just to be grateful. Because Jesus already paid it all so we owe it all unto him you know preaching this morning i came to sunday school give god thanks i was able to be here today sometimes due to work i am not here and you know give god thanks for brother stanley says give god thanks for brother stanley because god have a way of letting brother stanley to speak and to expound on the words at many times we have to take another grip and we have to look and say, okay, that is so true. You know, Bredgen, he was talking about the crucifixion. And he was saying that the beat, because the crucifixion is not only just to be hanged on the cross. As he was saying, it's a process. And the beating that Jesus Christ went through, he said it was like, it was like death. Because when they whipped him, and the skin started, this flesh started to peel away. The way how they beat him. Remember, remember. Sometimes I, I mean, I know our mind don't re, can't really comprehend that it was the creator of heaven and earth in the form of man. Meaning like how we are. God was in the form of us. And he took all that beating and all that you know God help me. He suffered. And Brother Stanley said that after the beating, that it was like death in his own self. It was after that, that he was given the cross to carry. 
on top of the beating. 82 miles. Sometimes we see when we drive and we say we drive even for 20 miles, how far that is. And to walk with a cross for 82 miles. Had no sin of his own. It was for you and it was for me. It was for even the same people that was beating him. The same people that was ridiculing him. The same people that spat upon him. For the same people. And we give God thanks. That's why I said many times, if we try to even say thanks, it just feel like it's just never enough to amount to give what is true unto him. But we thank him that he came. That he came for a purpose. And he fulfilled his purpose. And we thank God that we are here today. We thank him that we are here today. The beating was not for himself. It was for you and I. And we are grateful. And if I can't offer much, I just want to say, God, I am grateful. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Pray that God will keep us all saints. I pray that God will keep us. Praise God. I pray that God will keep us all. And we thank God. Praise the name of Jesus. Right now, I don't believe that there's anything else I can say. I believe so. And as we always pray, let the Lord have his way. So I believe at this moment we should all stand. And we're all going to pray. But we're going to stop here. I'm not going to tell you what to pray for. But as our pastor will say many times, pray unto your father. So we're just going to pray. All of us are going to pray right now to our father. We'll close in Jesus' name.
Jesus. Amen. Just before we go, there's this song that just came through while we was praying. Can we sing this song? I want to do thy will, O Lord. Praise God. Thy will, O Lord, I want to do thy will, O Lord. Take me and break me, I want to do thy Can ask brother how to come with the announcement right now, please, in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise Lord Jesus. I greet my pastor, saints of the Most High God. I greet only Jesus' name. Thank God for tonight. Thank God for His words of life. Thank God He's still speaking to us, and that Daniel's God surely will deliver. Just to. Just to remind you of our weekly schedule that on Tuesday we have service here at 7.30 p.m. Wednesday we have our prayer meeting at 7.30 p.m. Thursday we have our Bible study at 7.30 p.m. Saturday we're here for a prayer and fasting service. We gather here at midday for a prayer and fasting service. On Sunday we have Sunday school at 11 o'clock. Our day worship at midday and evening worship at 6 p.m. And also just to remind you that we have our Thanksgiving service for two weeks' time, the 14th to the 16th of April, and also our Holy Convocation, the 29th of July to the 6th of August. And I ask you to invite your friends and your families and all your neighbors, your enemies, everybody, all your opponents in Jesus' name, your work colleagues, everybody, in Jesus' name. And also, as we're leaving the building, please, brother, please keep the noise down in Jesus' name. God bless you all. <laughs>